So what should be the yellow shaded area in the given diagram? I think Mr. Bashir Salat for sending me this problem. So give this problem a try. When you're ready, then watch the video for a solution. Now in the solution, our approach is to determine the area of that shaded portion which is actually a rectangle. So for that, let me name each part and component of the diagram as shown. So the shaded area must be the breadth times height of that yellow rectangle or just H times Y. Which means we have to determine these two elements. So let's focus on the overall breadth of the rectangle which should be 8 because it's half of 16. Now let's determine the height of the same rectangle which can be found with the help of that inclined rectangle. So as you can see this triangle is a right angle triangle by which we can say of course h minus 3 square plus b square equals h square which is of course the Pythagorean's theorem. Now let's simplify this theorem for the height of rectangle like h minus 3 square is going to be h square plus 3 square minus 2h3 or 6h plus b square which is of course 8 square equals h square or 9 minus 6h plus 64 equals 0. So h equals 73 divided by 6. So this is now the height of that shaded region. Now let's calculate the breadth of the shaded region by which we can use of course similarity like consider these two triangles. In triangle first, x divided by h minus 3 must be equal to b by h in the second triangle. So from here, we can calculate x and then we will subtract x from the breadth of that rectangle so we can have of course y at the breadth of that shaded area. So x divided by h which is of course 73 divided by 6 minus 3 equals b by h where b is 8 and h is of course again 73 divided by 6. So now by doing little math x must be 144 divided by 73 that means the breadth of that shaded area must be now 8 which is the breadth of that vertical rectangle minus this x value. So that yellow rectangle is now 1.973 units wide. Finally, we have parameters of that shaded area. So the area must be now the breadth of that shaded area, which is of course 1.973 units times its height which is going to be 73 divided by 6. So shaded area must be 24 units. And well, yeah, there also may be another way of finding this area. Like if you look and study the diagram, the shaded area must be the area of that rectangle forming at the top, having one side equals 3 and the another side must be 8, which was determined by me little time ago. So the shaded area can be 3 times 8 which is also 24 units and that's it. So did you figure it out? Remember there are also a few more methods to the solution of this problem. If you can give them a try, let me know in the comment section. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.